Hi, this is Dr. Pan, recording from Tucson, Arizona. I hope life is treating you well. And thank you for watching this clip on solving some exact value problem. Exact value problem has traditionally been notorious for students, and they're thorny and hard to tangle, kind of like this bundle of holiday lights. All right. Um, hopefully, in this type, what we can do is untangle it for you and make it a from this point onward, easy for you to handle. So here we're given the point 5 and minus 2 is on the terminal side of this angle of theta. Uh, what I'm going to present you here or teach you here is actually a two step process. Okay, step one, you're going to draw it, and then you're going to find what we call the reference R. Okay, reference angle. is also always with respect to x-axis. Okay, think of a horizon as your reference. Okay, so in our case here, our reference little triangle looks like this. Okay, here's my r, and uh, proportion-wise, this is 5, this is 2. Pythagorean theorem says this is 29, because 5 squared plus 2 squared that's the this side. Okay, so for step one, you find out where the reference angle is. And then step two is since where you, you use this one to find sine. Okay, we'll, we'll go through more and talk about what this one means. For now, let's just know that it's a two-step process. So for our particular problem, uh, theta is over here, reference angle with respect to x-axis is here in quadrant 4. Okay, so therefore sine theta is what we want to find is equal to plus or minus sine of sine r. Now this one you can actually prove it. Okay, let's do a talk a little bit on the side. I'm not going to actually prove it because time is going to be running out. So for here we have 360 minus r is equal to my sine of theta because you can see refer to the x-axis with respect to x-axis. If I have 360 minus this little r, I end up with my big theta here. Okay, from here, you have a sine of um, alpha beta cosine minus cosine of 360. This is just the standard uh, formula for sine of alpha plus minus beta. You can actually use this one to prove it. So the point is, step one, you find where this little reference angle is. I tell my students, redraw it. Okay, It takes a little time, but it's really worth it. Once you find the reference angle, then, then you have this opportunity to say sine theta is either equal to plus or minus. We're going to choose. That's how we're going to find the sine. That's the step two. But its value is related to sine of r. So sine theta is related to sine r. Okay. From here, step two is choosing whether it's plus or minus. In quadrant four, Roman numeral four, in quadrant four, my sine angle is negative. That's why I put a negative sign here. And sine of r, it's really easy for me to find it with this triangle over here. Sine of r is 2 over radical 29. Okay, so therefore, to clean it up a little better is 2 times radical 29 over 29. Okay, with a minus sign. That's what, what my sine theta is. All I did is rationalize the denominator. Okay, let's do the same thing. Cosine theta is related, it's either plus or minus. Uh, cosine of r, okay. And cosine r is really easy to do. And it says five over radical twenty-nine in quadrant four, where my uh, terminating angle is. This cosine is a plus sign. Okay, so uh, rationalize it. Five twenty-nine over twenty-nine is my cosine of theta. So it's, once again, it's a two-step process. It's a plus minus of reference angle, and from here to here, the step happens to be a plus sign because angle r is in quadrant 4. 
Okay, in quadrant four, cosine is positive. Okay, one more thing to do. Tangent of theta, once again, is plus or minus tangent of r. Tangent of r is really easy to do, which is uh, two over five. Okay, in quadrant four, it's minus. Okay, so my tangent theta is equal to minus five over two. Okay, so there you have it. It's a two-step process. By, first of all, you draw the angle and you find out what the reference is. Once again, it has to be with respect to x-axis. If you are curious how um, to prove it, you can use the sine and angle of uh, sum and, and difference of the angle formula so you can actually prove it yourself. All right, back over here, once you recognize the sine theta you're looking for is related to the reference angle, and then second step is you choose the sine, plus or minus, and depend on where your reference angle located at, okay, sine and angle and cosine values all changes. So it's, it's, it's imperative that you understand in quadrant four, sine value is negative, cosine is positive, and tangent is negative, so on and so forth. All right, I hope this one clears up some of the mystery with the exact value problems. All right, once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun. At least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if the video has been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.